Hi everyone. I have a couple of books I want to share with you. This first one is called Sergio Saves the Game. Sergio loves soccer. He kicks, jumps, defends, heads, butts, knees, shoots, and scores! A true star in his dreams. In the real world, he trips, falls, crashes, sets, shoots, slips, slides, flips, and scores but for the other team. When he plays with his friends, he's always the last one chosen. I'll take the fish, they say. Mom, no one wants to play soccer with me. I always slip and fall, says Sergio. It's not you, it's all this ice, says his mother. Why don't you play ping pong instead? But I love soccer, says Sergio. Well, maybe you could try being the goalie. That's a very important position. Sergio loves the idea. He hops out the door and heads out to play. Oops, ouch, sorry. Don't worry, Sergio. I know you can do it, says coach. Our big game against the Seagulls is coming up. So remember, practice, practice, practice. And keep your eyes on the ball and your wings up. He practices hard for the big game, but as usual, Sergio has some trouble. I'm trapped. Help! Ugh. Must keep my beak down. He keeps at it all day and night, determined to be ready for the championship. Eventually, Sergio gets pretty good. Wow, cool. Awesome! The big day arrives and everyone comes out to see who will win the championship. The penguins or the seagulls? That's your goalie? Ha! Huh, he's tiny! This is going to be so easy. The game has its ups and downs. The seagulls are big, but Sergio's team is feisty. It's not an e as easy for the seagulls as they thought it would be. During the game, Sergio saves one goal after another, but he loses one when he trips on his shaky tail and the ball bounces right into the net. Oh no! It's very hard for the penguins to get the ball past the seagulls' large wings, but they find a way to get one through. Oops. In the end, Sergio's team is winning by one goal, and the Seagulls are down to their final penalty kick. They send out their biggest player to take the shot. The entire game is now in Sergio's wings. Sergio, you can do it! Don't be scared, and remember, keep your eyes on the ball! As the final ball races toward the goal, Sergio remembers everything he has practiced. Eyes on the ball, head down, wings up. I have to stop this ball! Well, he stops it all right. Right onto his beak. Sergio's teammates lift him up on their shoulders. They have finally beaten the Seagulls and won the championship. The entire team celebrates and cheers with joy. Sergio tries to cheer too, but all he can say is, hmm. The end. I have one more book I would like to share with you. Since we are the Longfellow Lions, I thought we would read one called Caring for Your Lion. boy has a calendar and it says kitty arrives and the truck says pet delivery. And the note says congratulations on your new lion. We know you ordered a kitten but we ran out of those. 
Luckily, a lion is practically the same thing. Caring for your lion is easy. Just follow this handy guide. Caring for your lion. Step one, take a deep breath, then carefully open the crate. Step two, locate the enclosed feather. Keep it handy in case of an emergency. Step number three, try very hard not to look like a zebra, or a gazelle, or a bunny. See diagram A. No zebra, no gazelle, no bunny. <gasps> he has to close his shirt. Step four, if you ignored step three, you are probably sitting inside a lion right now. No problem. Simply use your feather. See diagrams B, C, D, and E. So here he is sitting in the lion. He's got to tickle him. He's got to tickle his nose and then out he pops. Step number five, order 10 large pizzas and promptly feed your lion. He ordered sausage, sausage, pepperoni, gazelle, giraffe, buffalo, rhino, antelope, zebra, bunny, and wildebeest. Are those your favorite flavors of pizza? When your lion accidentally swallows the pizza delivery guy, you know what to do. Tickle, tickle. Ah, ah, achoo! Six, potty train your lion. It's a cinch with this deluxe lion potty pack. Number seven, provide your lion with space to play. Look, he broke out. He's running all over the neighborhood. And he even ran through the soccer goal. It's a good thing that Sergio from the other book isn't being the goalie. He might want to eat a penguin. Step eight, your lion loves to nap. Be ready for him to doze off just about everywhere. by the window, on the refrigerator, in the wagon, on you. Number nine, give your lion an occasional treat, especially when he does something good. So they're waiting in line at the ice cream uh, truck and the lion goes, Roar. and then everyone clears out and they're able to get their ice cream cone. Step 10, at bath time, fill the tub with equal parts water and lion. Then add a smidge of bubble bath. Be sure to have your camera ready for some adorable photos. Drip, goosh. Don't they look so cute in the bubbles? Step 11, post bath, your lion is half his normal size. Do not panic. Simply grab a blow dryer and get busy. Expect a teensy bit of shedding. Oof. Step 12, at the end of a full day, your lion is sleepy. Prepare a cozy bed for him. Oh no, he's jumping on his bed. Step 13, follow this with a relaxing bedtime routine. Brush his teeth, read the lion a story, and then put him to bed. And number 14, step 14, realize your lion is the perfect pet for you. The end. Thanks for sharing story time with me today. Have a great day. Bye, guys.